The Greek word gnosis means knowledge. That is to say, first-hand knowledge, knowing something from direct experience, as opposed to learning about it from someone else. It's the difference between reading a book or watching a movie about surfing and actually skidding down the face of a 75-foot monster wave at Mavericks. God is an experience, an awe-inspiring, terrifying, mind-blowing, ecstatically joyful experience that's nothing like the dead-eyed, going-through-the-motions, quote-unquote, religion that's taught in churches. Having this Gnostic experience of the divine is the point of human existence. Ultimately, it's what we're here to learn how to do. At the First Church of David Bowie, we can teach you how to achieve it. It's no longer just for ascetics who sequester themselves in caves or monastic cells for decades of meditation, or for a few people who luck into peak experiences. Our method for achieving mystical gnosis, which we call phonomancy, will allow you to attain it consistently with just a few years of effort. Gnosis will supercharge your life with energy, energy you can apply to whatever you choose, whether that's healing your inner wounds or achieving your professional goals or improving your ability to be there for the people you love or all of the above and more. But to achieve Gnosis via phonomancy, you need to have certain qualities. You have to have physical strength and stamina. Our ceremony that allows you to achieve Gnosis is hard work. You must be on your feet and dancing for over three hours. You have to have courage. On your way to Gnosis, you will meet forces in your unconscious implacably opposed to your goal. You will often face intense fear, despair, even a sense of impending madness. You cannot let those threats deter you. You have to have self-control. You must be able to feel your emotions without allowing them to affect your actions, to feel panic without panicking, to feel desolation without being desolated, to feel the release of total freedom without spazzing out, you also must be able to amplify your emotions to superhuman levels. This is the key to navigating your way to a direct experience of the divine. You have to be able to concentrate. To perform phonomancy, you must be able to stay on task no matter what kind of psychic pressure you're enduring. And you need to be able to focus on the images that arise from your unconscious so that you can remember them later. Finally, you have to be sincere. To achieve Gnosis, you need to be able to let go of cynicism and give yourself to the experience wholeheartedly. Don't worry if you feel like you might be lacking in any of these qualities. We can train you. We can help you develop them. You just have to be willing. Willing to expose yourself to raw terror. Willing to expose yourself to heartbreak. Willing to fight against evil when it threatens to overwhelm you. Willing to get atavistic, to get as wild as your pagan ancestors dancing around a campfire. Willing to get celestial, to recognize that your home is among the stars. Willing to own the crimes the human race has collectively committed and vow to make amends for them. Willing to believe that ultimate reality has an aspect that wants to relate to you as one person to another. The crux of all this is belief. Belief is what closes the circuit that allows for the flow of magic. That's why you need to be willing to do this in the company of like-minded others. Why? Because sharing a belief amplifies it for all involved. And when it's hard for you to believe, the others around you will hold space for you, support you until things get easier, and you can do the same for them. That's the difference between spiritual and religious. Being spiritual is about having a relationship with the divine. Being religious, ideally, is about working with other people to increase the vividness and intensity of that relationship. Our central ceremony, the phonomantic rite, is like a group workout to strengthen your belief. Finally, you have to be willing to train outside of ceremony. It's kind of like that line from the movie Fight Club. Fight Club gets to be your reason for going to the gym and keeping your hair cut short and cutting your nails. The phonomantic rite becomes your reason to do a lot of things you should probably be doing anyway. Exercising, meditating, singing, dancing, studying, journaling. Why pursue these hobbies? because they'll make you more effective in ceremony. Being more effective in ceremony means having a more powerful experience of the divine reality, and regular exposure to the divine reality will eventually make you superhuman. The phonomantic rite is a way to achieve this. So we invite you to participate in our ceremonies. Come train with us. Join us in trying to get better every day, in trying to feel better every day. Join us in believing that joy is our birthright. Join us in working to embody it, and the knowledge that to be joy is to prepare for Gnosis. In so doing, you'll gain membership in our shamanic legion of superheroes. So get to work. We need you if we're going to save the world. Until next time, I'm Pa Dammit, reminding you to say fuck yeah to every pleasure and every pain in life.
do it for your ma. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama, papa coming for you.